I'm Brent Atwater. I'm the Animal Medium. Welcome to our weekly show. Thanks for sending in your questions. We really appreciate it. We have a big old bowl from people all over the world, and we pick them out, and we shoot these videos on an ongoing basis as my schedule allows. And we are so thrilled that you are sending these questions to us so that I can help heal your heart. If you'd like to continue the conversations, go over to our pet loss group. It's listed below and you'll see that we have lots of conversations and educational opportunities to help heal your heart. We also have a sister station called PetLifeRadio.com that we'd love for you to visit and we have podcasts there 24-7. Now you can check us out on Twitter, Instagram, that's the fun stuff. And as I said, the conversations in our pet loss group are great and you can send me questions even to my email address. So, how about this? Caroline from Italy says, and I love this question, I really do. Are pets aware of the people on earth? And first of all, do they know they shed their fur suit? Yes, they do, because I see and talk to dead pets all the time. And this means that I watch them as they get out of their fur suit and cross to the other side. And I talk to them face to face. And in one of the videos, I was talking about how my cat Ugly was having to like <laughs> slip out of her fur suit. It's sort of like, you know, you got to wiggle out of it. And they are totally aware of leaving their fursuit and transitioning over. Another way they are aware is because you and your pet decided when they were going to transition out of that fursuit into a living energy. So Caroline, the answer is yes, a pet is very aware when they are supposed to pass away. Matter of fact, you'll see a video down there that says, does your pet know it's going to die? We did that. So that's a it was a tough video to do, but yes, they do know because everything's pre-planned and pre-scripted and y'all chose the method and the scenario and everything, so they are aware that they are going to leave their fursuit and they're also aware of what's going on with the person on earth. Well, how do I know that? Again, when I help people watch their pet transition to the other side, I'm talking to the pet face to face the entire time that it's slipping out of their pet suit and going into beautiful sparkler form. So the pet and I are having a conversation when the owner over here is totally broken down and crying because all they're seeing through their human eye is the pet leaving their fursuit. Well, I am watching the pet lift up out of its fursuit, turn into a beautiful sparkle form, and we're having a conversation all the time back and forth, and they're wondering why the owner is so upset. Now, let me tell you, from Earth standards, this is hard to think about. But I feel so blessed that I get to see it so I want to share it with you because it's really beautiful and ever since I've had the ability to see this I realize I have two reactions. I have my human reaction which just cries my heart out when I lose the fursuit of a pet and then I have the spiritual reaction where I watch them and I go, you go! You get out of that old fursuit that wasn't working for you or that old, you know, that the bones were broken or the body had broken down. You get out of that old fursuit. You go to be beautiful, living, sparkler form. So, yes, they are aware that they slip out and yes, they are aware of the grief that you are experiencing because they're saying to me, I wish you wouldn't cry so much. And that's why they want to talk to you as soon as possible. But if you're grieving, see, when you grieve, you're, <laughs> which is the way I, you know, I really cry, it pushes away, okay? It, you're like, huh, huh, huh. think about it, crying. It gives a pushing away energy. And your pet's over here going, I can't get through that. So after you've gone through reasonable grief and honored the fact that your human side has had your soul splattered because they left, then clutch to the fact that they're now living energy and go to the living energy spirit side. Now, if you want to know how to do that, I wrote a book called After Death Signs from Pets in Heaven. And it teaches you how to ask your pet to come in dreams, how to ask your pet to show up. We've got videos down there that say how to feel a pet, how to see a pet, how to sense a pet. All that's in the book too. So you can take the book and read it and go on the page and then go to the video and practice it so you can see and feel your living pet that's not in his fursuit but is a living, beautiful, bright sparkler form. So yes, they are very aware of the grief, Caroline, that humans are experiencing even as they're transitioning out of the fursuit. But they're waiting for you to catch up. They're waiting for your mind to go over the speed bump of, I don't know about this, I don't know if that's real. 
And over that little speed bump of, can it really be him? Is it really fluffy? And they're going, well, yeah. So get my book, After Death Signs. Read the exercises. Do them. Don't get, look, my mother's 84-year-old garden club could do that, so you can do it too. It's just a matter of believing in your pet. You don't have to believe in yourself. Hello? Let's say that again. You don't have to believe in yourself. Believe in your pet. Hey, your pet's got it going on. He's already left the fursuit. And he's already in beautiful white sparkle form waiting for you going, all right, Mom, if you slow the crying down a little bit, I can just slide my energy in and go to sleep right with you. Or, hey, Mom, that was me you saw out of the corner of my eye. And that rattling, that's me shaking my food bowl to let you know, hey, Mom, I'm here. So don't doubt your pet. Your pet can move mountains and move energy to let you know I'm alive and I'm well. Just open your mind a little bitty bit so your pet can come trouncing in and you can feel them rub up beside your, you know, if you got a cat, you rub up, get your knee on you, and you'll be able to, it's just a joy because you think, I'm not sure about this stuff. It's like, mmm. But the truth is, it's real. And the sooner you open your mind just a little bit, then the grief will go, and you'll have the joy of having a brand new journey with your pet on the other side, because they're just in another electromagnetic form. Because energy, love, and soul energy, it doesn't die. It just changes forms. Now, here's a little thing. If you take water and you boil it, what do you get? Steam. And if you take steam and you freeze it, what do you get? Ice. And if you take ice and you boil it, what do you get? Water. Think about that. Okay? If you take water and boil it, what do you get? Steam. If you take steam and freeze it, what do you get? Ice cubes. If you take ice cubes and melt it, what do you get? Water. So if I say to you, how many ice cubes are in this room? You're going, what? Is she a little, well, you know, maybe. But, you know, how many ice cubes are in this room? How much water did you boil so that you had the steam, so that you froze it, so that you got the ice cubes? It's the same way with the pet. How many pet spirits are in this room? And let me tell you, if you could see them, a lot. <laughs> it also tells you how to get just your pet so you don't bring in everybody else. So, yes, you just are on a new journey too. Your pet's in sparkler form on the other side, and you're in earth form learning to use more than 10% of your mind and opening up your awareness to all there is. And it's fabulous. And they're so alive and well, they're just waiting for you to catch up. Thanks for being with us this week. Subscribe. We have weekly adventures, and I'd love to see you here because I'd like to help heal your heart. I'd love to answer your questions and expand your awareness to all there is because it's real and it's wonderful. And you never feel alone again. Bye, bye, bye. Have a lovely week.